this video is to introduce the basic operations of the four infusion modes of Madurina infusion pump, model name Unifusion VP50. First step, switch on the pump. Press the power button for 2 seconds to turn on the pump. The pump now prompts whether to recall last treatment. Select No will clear all remaining data of previous infusion. Selecting Yes will pick up the settings of last infusion. This can save time for the users if they just need to apply the last infusion parameters. Now we select Yes. The pump prompt Battery in use to remind that now the pump is not connected to AC power supply. Press OK. Now the pump turns to the page of last infusion modes with all infusion parameters ready. Second step, install the infusion line. Open the pump door. Push up the anti-free flow clamp. Insert the infusion line into the line guide. Use your finger to secure the infusion line in the line guide from right to left. Right to left is the infusion direction of the pump. Once the line is installed, close the door by pressing both left and right side until you hear the sound of clip. Now the infusion line is well installed. Third step. Select infusion mode. The current infusion mode can be found at the bottom of the display. There are two different ways to change the current infusion mode. The easiest way is to touch the current infusion mode at the bottom of the display and select your preferred mode. The other way is to press either one of the menu, select mode, and then choose your preferred mode. There are four different infusion modes in the pump. Rate mode, time mode, body weight mode, and drip mode. The first one is rate mode. In this mode, we set the volume to be infused. And flow rate. The flow rate range is from 0.1 ml per hour to 1500 ml per hour with increment 0.01 ml per hour. Here we enter rate 30. Now the pump automatically calculates the infusion time needed. Before we press the start button, always remember to purge first. Purge is to apply a large flow rate to quickly remove the air bubbles in the infusion line to make sure the air won't be infused into patient body. After no air in the expansion line, stop the purge and start infusion. This is the display when the infusion is running. On the display, it shows infusion rate, infusion modes, volume to be infused, remaining infusion time, infused volume, pressure bar which shows dynamic pressure status, the soft keys for stop, bowlers and menu. On the title bar, it shows Infusion set brands, battery in use, infusion set size, 
screen lock, and the remaining battery capacity. The flow rate can be changed anytime as needed without stopping the infusion. Press the flow rate on the screen. Change the number. Now the flow rate is changed and the time left is recalculated accordingly. Apart from flow rate, other parameters can also be changed without stopping the infusion. Press menu. Here we can reset occlusion pressure, VTBI, infusion time left, and the reset total volume. During the infusion, we can lock the screen simply by pressing the power key. Now the screen is locked. And press the power key again. The screen is unlocked. If you need to infuse large volume of medication within a short time, use bowlers function. Either manual bowlers or automatic bowlers is available. Manual bowlers is to keep pressing the bowlers button at the side. And the bowlers rate is the max flow rate. Release the pressing and the bowlers stop. Regarding automatic bowlers, press bowlers on the screen. In this page, enter bowlers VTBI. Bowler's rate, 500 for example. The pump automatically calculates the bowler's time. Start bowler's. The bowler starts and will stop after 2 minutes. The second mode is time mode. In this mode, we enter volume to be infused. And infused time. The pump will automatically calculate the flow rates. Start infusion. The third mode is body weight mode. In this mode, user is required to enter the body weight. Next is concentration. It is required to choose the concentration units, additive agent, and volume. For concentration units, we can choose it from 11 different units. Then enter the volume for active agent. Next, enter volume. Now the pump automatically calculates the concentration. The next parameter to enter is dose rate. The pump's default prompt is to whether change the current dose unit if different unit is preferred, then select yes, and then choose it from the four dose units. Then set the dose rate. Now the pump automatically calculates the flow rate and show it here. Finally, enter the volume to be infused. Then start infusion. The fourth mode is drip mode. In this mode, we enter volume to be infused. And drop rate. For example, 50 drops a minute. Now the pump automatically calculates the infusion rate. 
Start infusion. Last but not least, there is micro mode. The purpose of micro mode is to increase infusion safety by setting the limit of max flow rate used more often in neonates and pediatrics. To edit micro mode, select menu, settings, turn to the third page. We could choose it on or off. Select it on. Set max flow rate. The range of max flow rates is from 100 ml per hour to 1500 ml per hour. For example, set 500. By setting this number, the flow rate under all Ford infusion modes is not allowed to exceed 500 ml per hour. Let's check it. Go back to rate mode. Let's enter 800. The number automatically changed back to 500 ml per hour, which is the max flow rate set in micro mode. This is how micro mode works. Now we have finished the introduction of the four infusion modes and micro mode. In the next video, we will introduce the various settings of this model.